Meanwhile, amid the Jerusalem crisis, Russia is looking towards closer ties with the Arab world. President Vladimir Putin is due to visit Egypt next week. Putin and Egyptian President Abdel Fattah el-Sisi are due to discuss stability and security in the Middle East. Russia has also drafted a proposal to share military airspace. Putin is then traveling to Turkey, where he'll be meeting with President Recep Tayyip Erdogan, a key NATO ally. Russia's involvement in the Syrian crisis has boosted its presence in the Middle East. Putin is likely looking to firm up that influence while on this trip. Well, let's get you some perspective on those developments. I'm now joined live from Cairo by Dr. Norhan Al-Sheikh, a professor of political sciences at Cairo University and a specialist on Russian politics. Uh, doctor, thank you for joining us. Now, President Putin's visit seems to come at a very critical time for the Middle East, uh, in particular following Donald Trump's announcement about Jerusalem. Just talk us through the significance of the timing of this visit. Uh, it's a highly important um, uh, visit. Um, as you mentioned, uh, we here in the Middle East in a very critical moment uh, after Trump declaration of Jerusalem uh, and moving uh, uh, the embassy of United States to Jerusalem. It was uh, unexpected and uh, dramatic uh, change in, in U.S. policy toward Middle East. Um, Russia is a very important player in the Middle East now. It has a strong presence in Syria and in, in the Middle East in general and to coordinate with, with Russia and other uh, great powers, uh, very important for Arab and Islamic countries. Plus, uh, Russia uh, is also an observed member uh, in uh, Islamic, um, in the organization of Islamic states, so it can play uh, a very important role uh, regionally and internationally to support Palestine um, um, rights and uh, Arab rights in Jerusalem and I think the whole world rights because Jerusalem is not only um, for Muslim but it is um, uh, for all religions actually uh, Muslim Christians and of course Jewish uh, so it's very important uh, to coordinate between Egypt and uh, Russia uh, in that moment and to consolidate all the Arab and Islamic efforts uh, to um, um, uh, review the uh, American um, uh, decision or at least block it uh, mm -hmm. to be implemented. And, and Doctor, of course, as you were just talking about Russia's presence and influence in the Middle East, uh, we know that Russia has recently published a draft resolution on sharing military airspace with Egypt. Just how important is that particular deal for Russia and its presence uh, in the region? Uh, 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 terrorist, I, I think, uh, problem and terrorism is at the top of agenda for both uh, uh, Egypt and Russia. And uh, both are sharing the same views and nearly the same list of uh, terrorist organization. Uh, and we had uh, the same attitude uh, actually uh, concerning terrorism. Uh, so it is logically to coordinate together uh, to face that major and worldwide uh, actually uh, problem. Um, uh, Russia had uh, having a lot to introduce to Egypt in the field of technology uh, to combat uh, uh, terrorism, uh, also in the field of information and logistics, etc. Uh, so I think that uh, uh, agreement would push forward um, uh, the uh, success uh, against uh, terrorism for both Russia and uh, Egypt because now it is a uh, very uh, serious and the disaster problem we are facing in Sinai and elsewhere in Egypt so it is very important to coordinate with a, a, a country or a, a great power like Russia uh, who as I mentioned uh, having a lot to introduce to us. And you mentioned uh, areas like uh, tourism, but uh, Doctor, perhaps just talk through other areas of cooperation um, that Russia might be seeking with Egypt. Just how important is Egypt to Moscow? Um, I think the main aim of uh, President Putin's visit to Egypt is to sign the contract of El Daba uh, nuclear uh, station for um, uh, generating electricity. Uh, and it is, um, I think, a very huge, important development project. It is, uh, we, we in Egypt saw uh, uh, or, or looked to that project um, that is uh, the most important and huge one, uh, like um, uh, the high dam. 
uh, and I think it will have a very important uh, development uh, consequences for Egypt. We need to, uh, uh, by way or another, uh, pushing forward the development in Egypt, uh, having a new horizon of uh, such a development. Um, and I think that the, the uh, project of Al Daba would provide us and will support the, our efforts in development fields in different ways, uh, economically, socially. It will be also a chance to um, having um, a space, another space, uh, out of that narrow valley we are um, concentrated on. Uh, we can also support uh, a, a, a huge uh, industry revolution in Egypt uh, uh, based on modern technology. Uh, also, agriculture field would push forward. Uh, with that uh, uh, project. So the Daba project, it is, I think it is the future of Egypt. And um, uh, Russia uh, introduced us the best, uh, 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 the best we can have, uh, both financially and technically. Uh, so I think it's a very promising uh, uh, project. And as um, uh, the Russians m mentioned, it established a, a very strong and strategic partnership between Egypt and Russia for um, um, nearly 100 years ago. Uh, so yes. a, a century uh, uh, coming. So it's uh, it's very promising, and uh, um, other fields also important: military cooperation, strategic cooperation, uh, uh, economically cooperation. All the fields are very promising between Egypt and Russia. All right, thank you, thank you so much, uh, Dr. Nohan Al Sheikh, joining us there from Cairo.